Most IVF patients believe that the more eggs we collect, the higher their chance of success. But here's what I've learned after decades of treating thousands of couples. Quality matters far more than quantity. When we retrieve eggs during IVF, not all of them are mature. Some are like unripe fruit. They look fine, but they're not ready. Only mature eggs, what we call them to oocytes, can actually fertilize and develop into embryos. So, the egg maturity ratio, the percentage of mature eggs, becomes a crucial indicator of your chances of success. Now, yes, studies show that a low egg maturity ratio is linked with lower live birth rates. That's because if fewer eggs mature, fewer embryos form, and there's less to choose from. But even one good embryo can give you a healthy baby. I've seen patients who produced just one mature egg, one fertilized embryo, and that single embryo became their miracle child. IVF is not a lottery. It's precision science. And every cycle gives us valuable data. Your hormone response, follicle growth, trigger timing, all of which help us fine-tune the next round. If your previous cycle showed many immature eggs, don't lose hope. Sometimes adjusting the stimulation dose or timing the trigger shot more accurately can dramatically improve your maturity rate next time. We can even use dual triggers to help more eggs complete maturation. So instead of focusing on numbers, focus on learning from your cycle. Understand your reports. Ask questions. And most importantly, don't give up just because the quantity looks small. Remember, it only takes one healthy egg, one strong embryo, and one receptive uterus to create a new life. If you'd like help interpreting your IVF reports and understanding what your numbers really mean, try chatting with my free IVF chatbot. It will guide you step by step so you can make smart, confident decisions about your treatment without confusion and without fear.